gonna sing to us? Thanks. I want a proper song now. That's better. Yeah, that's it. Harmonise. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Just filming today, sunburned again, just to tell you that the craziness of my life continues because I'm locked in my house again. Do you remember a little while back, probably like a month, maybe a bit more than that, my door key just would not unlock the door. And I was locked in my house when I needed to go to work. And my boyfriend had to come back and let me out. Well, it's happened again and my boyfriend was already running late for work today I was already running late for work today and my key will not open the door so I tried to go out the back door and go over the fence and then I realized that apparently you can't unlock you can't lock our back door from the outside what is this house Hi guys, oh, somebody's just slammed their gate outside, um, so yeah, it has been a week since I last spoke to you, it's been a week since we got the news that kind of turned the world upside down, we're all doing okay, it's very up and down sort of emotions, um, this heat doesn't help either. We've been having a heat wave in the UK for a few weeks now. I say heat wave, it's probably just gonna be what our summers are like now because the climate is changing, um, but it's a heat wave anyway. And the temperatures have been much, much higher than we're used to, sort of like 10 degrees higher. And it's so draining, so everyone's like exhausted and fed up. But yeah, so I thought I would just pop on and let you know that I'm okay. Um, probably won't be doing loads of face-to-face -face filming, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. And Archie and I are off to agility now. So off we go.
thought I would give you an update on how my office is looking. So all of my craft stuff has been pretty much packed and I've just been left with lots of like storage stuff to pack for the most part on my desk and just lots of random little bits. Um, this part of the Calax unit doesn't really look any different apart from I've packed everything that was in that box. I'm going to start boxing up my albums and taking them over to my mum's house because I don't want them to get ruined in like a removal van. So I'm going to take those over to my mum's. All of this up here needs to be packed. But what I've done is um, in my Calax boxes, I've actually packed stuff. So um, I've emptied them out, sorted things out, charity shopped stuff thrown things away, sold some stuff, and then I've packed the boxes so that I can move the boxes as they are. Now I've only done half of them, so I've only done one, two, three, four, and I've still got four more to do, um, like to go through and to pack stuff in. There's a little fly in here, get lost. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I've just packed a ton of random stuff. Um, and there's more stuff in there. So I figured that was like a pretty simple way of packing things and moving stuff. So I can just load these boxes into my car and then put them straight back into the Calax unit on the other side once it is built. I've packed nearly everything that was on here. Got some boxes and stuff. Most of my books are now packed. The only ones I have left all of my special ones so like my beautiful classics my special editions um and again they're going to be boxed up and taken to my mum's because i really don't want to ruin them these books need to go back to people that i've borrowed them from or to be charity shopped and all of the like ornaments and things need to be packed which is what i think i'm going to try and do now my rascog is probably going to go into my car just as it is bits to pack here, this box will just go as it is, my chest of drawers will probably just go as it is, stuff to pack on there, and then I have a ton of boxes full of books and stuff which are so heavy, it's actually unbelievable. I don't even think anyone's going to be able to move them to be honest, but we will give it a go. Um, I've started reading for my master's dissertation already, so those books are for that. I don't know why I'm so out of breath, I think it's because it's so hot in here, but yeah, so it's starting to empty out in here. It's taking me a really long time. It's one of those jobs that I probably could just power through for a couple of days and just get the whole lot done, but it's, it's just taking a long time. Okay, so it's probably about an hour and a half later and this is my progress, so. I've packed a ton of stuff that was still on the desk. Those are my packing supplies there. Um, this is stuff that's going to be sorted out to be sold or charity shopped. And I've got some books over on my shelf that need to be added to the charity shop pile. These are photos and things that need to go into a separate box which I haven't sorted yet. And I still haven't sorted that area. I've packed most of what was on here. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that typewriter. It does work, but I've used it like once, so I'm thinking, is it worth keeping? Not sure. Still need to move those down into my photo pile. Um, I haven't made any more progress with those boxes. I filled this one up with my camera equipment, which was still on here. Uh, nothing else has changed on there apart from I've packed the last bits and bobs. This is clear now. These books are still here to be sorted out. This is the last little lot of like breakable stuff apart from the things on my windowsill and this stuff which I have not tackled yet. Look how yellow the windowsill is because of how light it is in here. Oh my goodness. Still have not tackled these books but I will. Um, but yeah, I have, I've put a ton of stuff um, into boxes now as you can see. So we've got craft room decor and storage in there, another box of decor under there, 
um, books. This is a very, very fragile, as you can see, box of decor. Just got a basket of stuff there. Um, but yeah, so it is looking more and more empty, which is quite bittersweet because this was hands down my favourite room in the house and I'm very, very sad to be leaving it. My new craft room is just not quite the same, but I'm sure I'll love it just as much once it's all decorated. But yeah, so here's what it's looking like today. Hi guys, it is Saturday today. Um, yesterday was a really nice day. I went to work and then I went straight from work to Southampton University to see my brother graduate um, and I have a little bit of footage from it and I thought I thought I would pop it in but it didn't really make a lot of sense by itself so what are you doing <laughs> so um yeah I'll pop that footage in now oh, Ryan, Ryan. Callum Joshua Lee. this silly sausage oh thank you are you tired or are you just needy will has been at golf all day today and my family have all gone to watch uh, ryan my brother who graduated yesterday play cricket so i am just chilling and having a bit of a self-care day really i've been reading i've done some uni work um i'm just relaxing <sighs> it's getting a bit warm in here though so i'm feeling like i want to go out and get out of this greenhouse um and there's no we have no food in the house either normally we do the food shop on a um i can't even talk on a saturday but because will's at golf we haven't done it yet and there is nothing here this is our tent that will's bought for camping and it's absolutely huge we're practicing <laughs> Winnie doesn't like it. Oi. do not be. <laughs> Today we are going camping. Will's already taken most of the stuff out to the car, but <laughs> this is the most stuff we've ever taken on holiday.
so we arrived at our campsite, put up our tent, and then Will put up all the like camp beds and table and stuff, and it started raining, so that's great. So now we're in the car, and I think we're gonna go and get some food and drink, and then come back. <laughs> Looking good though, but it's just raining. Will bought a lamp that has a USB port in it and it charges your phone without the lamp having to be on. How amazing is that? I'm My mind's literally blown by this lamp, I love it. So it's like seven, well, about quarter past seven now. And we bought a car kettle. And we're waiting for it to boil, but it's definitely like not doing anything right now. I just really want my cup of tea. We have a slight problem because I really want a cup of tea every morning. So Will bought this car that you could, uh, the kettle that you can put in the car, which I showed you. But you forgot to put the engine on while it was boiling and the battery's dead <laughs> in the car so now we have to try and get it to start <sighs> i'm quite stressed and we're off three nice men came and helped oh radio three nice men came and helped us uh push start the car so now we're just driving to st ives hopefully the engine <laughs> will hold out hopefully the battery will hold out yeah. What a start to a Sunday morning. We are going to have a little picnic down by the lake this evening. 
we came back from our adventures today we stopped off at a crazy golf place and played crazy golf and um, yeah now we're going to have a little picnic down by the lake Oh, you're purring. Yeah. Are you so beautiful? Yes. I hope you don't have fleas. I hope you don't have fleas. <laughs> Are you camera shy? You don't want to look at the camera? Are you off? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Carry on stroking me. Now send that video to Archie and Winnie and make them jealous. So, Wills told me yesterday that he had somewhere in mind for us to come this morning. And I was trying to guess where it was. And I literally said to my mum, it's probably a wildlife park or something. <laughs> and we're at a seal sanctuary. I'm very, very excited though because I loved seeing the seals yesterday. So it's nice to come to a place where they're like looking after them. Oh, there's a pool here that says common seals on it. Wonder if there's anything in there at the moment, but yeah, it's so pretty here. But with a whistle.
He's so hungry. He's so hungry, I know. today I'm practically falling asleep here on the edge of the water but there he is out there on his paddle board and just like that our plot is empty the car is loaded and we're off Yay! bye bye lake Bye Lake, you've been wonderful. Hi everyone, uh, so it's actually, hi Archie, so it's actually um, a week since I last filmed um, when we were in Cornwall and I'm finally getting around to editing all of this footage from this month. So this is basically like a July vlog rather than a weekly vlog but um, I yeah was just getting around to editing it and I realized that I kind of needed to like add something in to like close the vlog off if that makes sense um, so I really don't know when the next vlog will come after this one I had so many fun things and fun videos I wanted to film this summer but I'm just not sure it's gonna happen now um, if you haven't seen my last vlog then you probably won't have any idea what I'm talking about but um, my mum has actually been diagnosed with cancer um, so obviously all of the focus is on that at the moment and all the focus is on her rather than um, anything else um, <laughs> what what else? Going away to Cornwall was really what Will and I needed. We just needed a little break and now we can come back and be refreshed, I guess, um, to face everything because on top of my mum going into hospital on Thursday for her surgery, um, we are probably going to be moving house the week after. It was originally going to be the day after my mum went into hospital, but we were like that it's just not gonna work so we've pushed it back another week um, which means hopefully my mum will be doing okay by the time um, we move house and yeah it's all just very very stressful at the moment which is why I probably won't be posting any vlogs again for a while I'm trying to film stuff and I'm still working on a project as well that I've been doing all year which I didn't want to give up on so I am filming a little snippet of most days but I'm just not really filming anything of substance and I'm not really filming like face to face with the camera so again I just wanted to kind of keep you in the loop and let you know that I'm probably not going to be uploading um, and just remind people of why if maybe they haven't seen last week's vlog um, but yeah, it's a, it's a tough time and I just wanted to really thank you for all of your support on my previous vlog. I couldn't believe how many comments came in. It was crazy to... <laughs> Things never change with Archie. It was crazy to see sort of how many of you watched the video and left a comment of support and it, it really did mean a lot. So yeah, I just want to thank you for that and I will see you whenever I see you. Bye guys.